Snare, you've got the hop, you can slow, you can try and get that hyper to keep at bay. And I think this is actually just a good read from SK. The chances are BDS were going for the Darius. And I love the fact that when BDS are playing as well, the Darius gets locked in. It's not a surprise. There's we nothing on the map for him to do. And I think this is kind of the big change that we see coming into this patch. It's Crowny actually. Yeah, they're going to see Cleanse immediately. Doss does have to heal after the Ignite came down on top of him. Nothing else really happening, but Shio's kind of covering this right now, so Marcoon's going to have to run away. Arctic Assault goes straight in on top of Exa Kick, who does have the cleanse available to him, uses it, but goes very, very low. Everyone holding on to their flash. No one wants to lose that big cooldown just yet. And that's with Marcoon kind of in the area. That's with their jungler there to maybe go for some kind of a re-engage, but it's so quick. It's so... And it's, again, back to the exact point you made a couple of minutes Utility ago. style build, irrelevant. Going to play relatively defensive, especially with the... Uh, black oh, cleanse gets used there as Lebrov goes in with a handshake, but... You've got Nuke move roaming down here. We're going to try and see if they can catch out Doss. He cannot flash away, and he gets taken out by Nuke. Access to that hostile takeover. You are looking to try and make moves here. Adam going to pop the ghost, and you imagine he's going to try and flash as well. As the blast goes, oh, he doesn't hit it. Can he get away? No, Nard back into the wall, and SK bring themselves back. Yeah, Raccoon actually snuck himself around the vision. Adam does not know the Monkey King is here. Relevant doesn't have Mega, though, so this is kind of a, a hard one to really make work. They are going to jump in with the Cyclone. Adam taking a fair chunk of damage. He does have the stacks, but he does not have the time. And that's going to be a kill up on that top side. Sirtis tries to move down, does have the cleanse from the spell book. And keeps himself alive. Didn't use his flash or his spirit rush. Here's the hostile takeover. Doss flashing away. Not quite sure where LeBron was aiming that one. And ends up all kind of just being a couple of ultimate share. But here we go. We're going to see if they get themselves another little bit of a charm. Shio trying to run away. There's going to be the ultimates there from Crowny and, of course, from Nuke. They're not quite able to get an extra kick. Still alive underneath the table. Or it's going to be underneath the tower. They are getting themselves more and more kills. They got the turret on the top side as well. As you can see, Sirt is trying to dance around these fights. Labra forced to flash. Do they want to try and fight for this dragon? That is the question. Marcoon is here, but he doesn't really have an entrance strategy, so he's just going to have to give that they one up. kind of over eager to go for certain things, panicking a little bit. And, uh, surely does get Do they want to fully commit to this one here? The Dragon not going down exceptionally fast just yet. SK not got the Lulu, but they are kind of moving everyone in. Irrelevant goes into his Meganar form. They jump in, they're going to try and catch Adam. That is Dragon Soul Point now confirmed for BDS, but will, where will the fight go afterwards? Ultimates going left, right, and center. BDS on full retreat. Marcoon on the back side of this. The flash charm is good. Shio forced to flash his own. These are so many low health bars, and those chakrams are doing the damage. Not doing too badly himself either, so SK definitely feeling a bit more momentum. It's a case of SK trying to see if they can bait BDS away from this position. Mid prior was so important. Oh, they land the ultimate. They put down Sirtis into a stasis because he's got the Miasma as well. There's a good hostile takeover to kind of reset. The feathers fly and they cut down Exekick. He had no way of reacting. The damage was insane. Crowny with great position on the feathers, even managing to move across with the Gale Force to get it. Now Adam goes. Adam gets in, gets himself two, two movements for his trouble. They're going to have a relevant user's Mega on the backside of this, but everyone is disengaging because that is a mini Nar. He is just a child in a battlefield and he doesn't belong. There was no flank, there was no chance for SK. BDS Shio, though, just about able to get out of there. I mean, Sirtis has nowhere to go, and you're in the Miasma! And that is why the Cassiopeia was banned in game number one. And that's why Grounded is a very fair and fun time to be <laughs> part of. BDS now will get the soul for themselves. They will. SK find themselves in a bit where they have to go for this. They're looking for plays as a four-man, but I don't know if they're going to be able to go for it. Actually, as a three-man, and Exekick finally gets himself something. They get a four-man knock-up here with the Cyclone. Marcoon trying to see if he can maybe delay a little bit longer. There's going to be a good charm on the Geo, but Irrelevant's not mega right now. The flash over with the hostile takeover is decent, and it separates everybody out. Double kill coming in from Crowny. And it does feel like we're at desperation stations here for SK. BDS are in total control. The timing window was so good for BDS. There was no ultimate on exit kick. He was counting down the seconds, holding the Inferno gun, saying, please, buy me time before I can get the big AoE. But I just, again, it's just, it's kind of, you know, harking back to, you know, are BDS truly the number one team in, in the regular split? They, you know, were, they haven't panicked. And now BDS are getting to reap the rewards, pushing in on bot side. SK trying to see if they can find answers on the top end, but BDS, won't be stopped, going to continue to put the push forward. And even in your looking in the mid lane, potential for a dive onto Exit Kick here, but they're just going to go for the inhibitor turret instead. Yep, you'll be able to trade this one back. I will say, Irrelevant should be able to get himself the turret here as well, as Adam has not even attempted to move towards him there. But 
So it's actually not that bad of a trade, if I'm being totally honest, for SK. This is a good moment for them to kind of get a little bit of gold back from those gold bounties. They're not a million miles behind. If they can get that inhibitor, it would have been fantastic, but going straight to Mega Nara with new coming, definitely not the uh, position you want to be in there as irrelevant. No, we're going to see them catch out. Oh, Clans no. gets used, but he does get himself away. The feathers do fly, they bring it back, and Doss is dead. Crowny is just styling on them right now. He wants this series over and done with before he can even get to dinner. The TP coming in here for Nuke, going to immediately set, set up for another terror to be taken here by BDS. Raccoon for a set on topside means he's not here, and there's no defense that SK can really mount. Oh, SK, you got to pray to whatever god you think is fair. Because right now, there is no fairness in the world. There is just results, and BDS are looking for the 2-0, a clean one and a decisive one at that. The crowd know what they want. This could be the final fight. The Miasma goes down. Irrelevant doesn't even get to go. Mega, you will stay a child. Double kill for Nuke. Exit kick hasn't got the right guns. The Nexus turrets are falling. BDS cementing themselves in the LEC as one of the teams to beat as they will smack down on SK. They chose you for a reason because they knew they could get the result they wanted. And they chose 